The first new form of mass transportation, perhaps since the Wright brothers brought us the aeroplane. Now, the moment was 12.02 a.m. on May the 12th. It was in the desert. It was near Las Vegas. And the Hyperloop 1 finished its first full systems test. That test now revealed for the first time. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. Yeah, it was a five-second test, and it was the result of three years of work by uh, Shervin Bishabar, who's the founder of Hyperloop One. Remind our viewers, for those who aren't familiar, what is special about the way your vehicle moves through the tunnel? Absolutely. So what we had to do there as a team, my co-founder Josh yep. Geigel was critical in that, in, in leading engineering as president, was three things. Levitation, yep. uh, inventing our own sky in the tube, so is it, it's as if you're flying at 200,000 feet, um, and the propulsion system which we've invented uh, from scratch. So it works, now you've just got to make it at scale Absolutely. and find somebody who'll pay for you to build a real full-scale travel mode. Absolutely. It's the first new major form of transportation in 100 years. That's why the Wright brothers have been such an inspiration to Josh and I and the entire team. Um, uh, being able to do that test proves that we've actually built it, that it works. Uh, the structure weighs 2 million pounds. Uh, it's the fourth largest vacuum system in the world. But this um, is tiny compared to what you'd have to build, say, from um, uh, Los Angeles to San Francisco or Vegas to L.A. Right. Our, our uh, method is to be iterative, to prove that it works to the world. Um, infrastructure, uh, putting atoms and bits together is very expensive. You need governments to support you to build. Our goal was to show that this works, that Hyperloop is real, and Hyperloop One has done that. That's three, almost 300 people full-time working around the clock to make this all happen.